A revolutionary tech university in Joburg is offering a tuition-free two-year course in software engineering to disadvantaged youth, irrespective of their previous education, and you could be one of them. In an effort to meet the increasing software engineering skills demand, we think Code has teamed up with corporate sponsors to go digital and secure tech talent pipelines who will thrive in the digital world. Co-founder and director of We Think Code underscore Camille Agun joins us on the show to discuss the work that they do, how it works, and more importantly, how you can get to participate and be taken in by this university. And we're also joined by one of their students, Billy Sitziba, who's here with, with us. And uh, welcome, Camille, Billy. Pleasure to have you with us. Tuition free, and it's for two years. What do you mean when you say it's tuition free? At the same time, we use the word university and we say tuition free. Explain, please. So we say we are a completely new kind of training program. Mm. We tuition free because the fact is that students don't have to pay tuition for the duration of the course, which is two years. Okay. And on top of the tuition free course, they get a 2,000 rand stipend every month to cover for food and transport. Mm -hmm. This is possible because we have set up a model with companies which are desperate for digital and technical skills in IT mm. and are ready to sponsor our students to then get them um, have interning at their companies after the first year and then providing job opportunities after the second year. Well, it's a slightly different model from the training, um, the CETAs that we have in South Africa, because the way they go about training is to anybody who comes forward then will be given the free training. And also very substantially different from how universities operate. How, how do you then select the individuals, the students, who end up benefiting in this fashion from both the learning they get as well as those stipends? So this is for me where the real magic is. We say we are open to everyone between the age of 17 to 35. We believe that any youth out there has the talent, the potential to be recording their future, to be a digital problem solver, to be a computer programmer. Mm. So we don't ask for matric, we don't look at your grades, we don't ask for diploma. You must just go on our website, which is wethinkcode.co.za, and there you will have to take two tests. One is a 10 minute memory game, and the second one is a two hour problem solving games. Mm. There's no instructions, and that's the point, because we are looking for those problem solving, resilient minds who are not gonna stop at uh, trying. Basically. Has this been tried anywhere in the world or is this a new trial of sorts? Well, I'm sure you can hear from my accent that I'm French. Mm -hmm. So we've brought the model from France. Mm -hmm. This school was first set up in France in Paris five years ago. They've just opened a campus now in the Silicon Valley backed by Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, all the big ones. Mm. Um, I'm proud to say that we're the first campus in, um, on the African continent and we are located in Johannesburg, CBD. Now, the kinds of, let's talk about the training, because, yeah. you know, we've had so many, we do have so many private colleges and training schools, right? But uh, the accreditations and the level of tuition and training that students get from there is not the kind that, you know, would assist them in operating in a working environment. Yeah. Yeah. So the training is software engineering. Like yeah. I said, it was set up by this group of genius software engineers in France. In the US, they are backed by the Facebook and Twitter and the like. So, you know, people industry, in the industry recognize the value of this training. We are backed by more than 45 corporates in South Africa, including the likes of FNB, BBD, Dimension Data, the RIFCO, so companies looking for those skills. And why they were interested in our model specifically is that because there are no teachers, mm. there are no classes, there are no books, there are no courses actually. Mm. You come on campus and you solve problems. So for two years actually you will be solving computer programming projects as you would do, as you would solve problems. It's in, in the real world. Right? Like it's in yeah. the real world yeah. Yeah. and you learn with your peers. Mm. And that's for me is the beauty of the model mm. because in technology there's no point that I instruct you as a teacher the technical language of Java because in five years time Java is not gonna exist mm. anymore. Mm. So we teach you to learn how to learn so that mm. when you go and work for a company, mm. you're always gonna be relevant because you will know how to learn a new language mm by yourself, with your peers, and solving problems, basically. Well, I suppose, but how do you recruit then the students who end up on your programs? 
So we recruit them, whoever pass um, our two tests are then invited to our selection boot camp. Mm. So the boot camp, and you'll be able to ask Billy, is mm. one of the toughest experiences mm. that mm. Um, our students go through. It's four weeks of intense, intense computer programming. Um, it's 12 hours a day, seven days a week. And there, we look at your grades, but most importantly, we look at your attitude. We look at your resilience. Mm. We look at mm. your passion, your motivation to train and then work. And based on that, we select you. But you don't need any previous coding experience mm. because we start from the right beginning, which is creating files on a computer. Mm. But if you have the right attitude, then you will make it and uh, you will get into within code. Well, Billy, how did you get to hear about and welcome? How did you get to hear about uh, this college and, and get to participate? Uh, well, my stepbrother actually heard about it on the radio and he decided that I should look at this, this opportunity. Mm. And yeah, I went on the site and it was really easy to use. And yeah, I read up on it and um, I but, went but, on. But you're not a, a computer person yourself. I mean, you're from Maryland Soweto, right? Maryland Soweto. And then you're not right, studying yes. or involved in computers I whatsoever. I wasn't, yes. Yeah, tell I me. Was, uh, yeah, I was doing clinical medicine at WITS. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and like financially I got strained and I was forced to uh, stop studying at WITS. And during that off year, uh, I, my brother heard about the program and he let me know about it. And yeah, I took a look at the information that was available to me about the, the program itself. Mm. And yeah, I, start, I applied and I took the tests, as Kemi said, and I got to boot camp. And boot camp isn't really the easiest thing to survive. Yeah. Um, and you can't do it alone. As Kemi said, it's a peer-to-peer -peer learning environment. So what happens is the videos, okay, there's videos on the system that teach you the basics. And then you, in order to apply the basics, need to look at the videos and do the exercises that are given to you. Mm. Uh, but some people learn at a much faster pace as uh, some of them do have like previous IT experience. Mm. Um, and those ones can bring what they have to the table and let you learn from them. Mm. Oh, so because the it's peer to peer, yeah. right? It's peer to peer. It's not, it does, they don't withhold what they, they know they've got to share with the others. Yeah. yeah. But, but apparently, uh, Camille, you said only 700 or so get to pass the test in the first place before we even talk boot camp. So what percentage is that? Is it about 5% or what is it? About 5%. I mean, we say that anyone out there could have the potential to be a coder and a computer yeah. programmer. Not everyone can. So I can say that I'm not born to code, yeah. for instance. Yeah. This is why I'm directing the school instead mm. of doing it. Mm. Um, but what's beautiful is that we have students from all backgrounds, from very diverse sure. backgrounds, and that's... Now, the it. other pe point, you know, I just wanted to establish that fact about the tests, right? Yeah. But then after that, the real test is the boot camp. So how was the experience like? It was grueling. <laughs> it was. Um, yeah, no, uh, there are times in, that people will tell you about uh, during the, the, the boot camp that um, really strain you and you will need help, otherwise you won't be able to survive it. So, and then during that process, that's, that's when the numbers get whittled down, right? Did you see that's people quit halfway in the middle of this or did they all stay until the end? There were quite a few that actually dropped out during the process yeah. because it is difficult. Yeah, uh, but, but how's the experience up to this point now? Well, after boot camp, the course itself, well, I wouldn't say the, the, the workload lightens, <laughs> uh, but you do get a lot more time to complete the project. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, so the projects are much bigger though, so yeah. you need to space out your time that way. Uh, but like, if, if you work correctly and you, you schedule how you're gonna do the work, then you should be able to do the work within the five days of the week sure. and then have your weekend off. Uh, but most people don't spend their weekends off. Yeah, they continue uh, with the work. They continue, yeah. yeah, so that they can build up but their But you, you get the real, uh, real world experience, right? The working world experience, yes. I suppose. Uh, yeah, the projects are, are um, situation-based. So they'll give you a problem and then you have to solve it however way you yeah, find yeah. the way to solve it, yeah. Matchmaking the candidates with the potential company. Everything is based on potential here, let's use yes. that word. So how do you go about that? So like, like I said, we, those are virtual sponsorships, so we don't match students to corporates right away because yes. we want to make sure that 
we match students, um, I mean companies to students based on their skills, their needs, their company culture. So two weeks ago, we actually organized a com um, corporate sponsor open day mm. where students had the opportunity to meet all our corporate sponsors, all the companies had the opportunity to meet the students, figure out what they work on. And during the course, actually, students will follow a path that interests them. Mm. So they can either focus on algorithm mm. or Unix mm. or graphics um, or web. And based on that and based on the company's needs, we can match the students. Okay. So you're already getting a feel, a sense of where you want to go, Billy? Yeah, um, I'm really considering going to BBD. Okay. It's, it's my first choice. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and just for perspective, uh, Camille, these courses cost money at the end of the day, right? And the sponsors will be paying you for the students who, who trained with you. How much on average does it cost a year? So they've paid us um, already, otherwise we couldn't have started. Yeah. I like to say also that we're non-profit so that yes. people don't get the wrong idea. Um, and it costs 100,000 Rand for one sponsorship, for yeah. one student for two years. Yeah. So it's actually low cost when you compare it to the cost of universities. Yes. And this is because we, the model is with no teachers. If you look at UCT, for instance, 70% of the cost is going to be teachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and we are hoping to be able to lower the cost as we scale. But, but the accreditation, which is very important in the IT sector, the appropriate accreditations go with this, right? So we are CETA accredited uh, yeah. level five, okay. but we are not uh, giving a university diploma. And we actually don't believe in diploma. What we believe in is in the job opportunities. And you know, we have companies like FNB, like Dimension Data, that are ready to take on some employees that don't have a university diploma. And some of them, some of our students don't even have matric. And so I think it is changing. The minds of corporates are changing. So the, the, will, the mere fact that you've gone through the process is what will qualify you for the job. So yes. you're not taking any certificate with you to say, I'm no. certified this, I'm certified that. Well, I'm sure we'll give them a nice piece of Within Code paper at the end of the two years. Yeah. But the real thing is the skills that you built yes. and um, the, the experience that you have and then the opportunity that you will be working for a company for two years. For me, that's much more valuable than any diploma. At any given time, the system is open to take your tests? Yes. Okay, so in other words, those who may want to join you should start doing that now. Yes, our boot camp are opening in January 2017 yeah. for our second cohort to start in May 2017. So you, you may as well start taking that test right away. Yes, and I, I want to say we're also opening our school every Sunday to anyone who wants to take the test that don't have access to computers or the internet. So Where are you? Where are you based? So we are um, 84 Albertina Sisulu Road mm -hmm. in the CBD, Johannesburg CBD. 84 Albertina Sisulu Road in uh, Johannesburg. And of course, you can go to their website. It's called wethinkcode.co.za. And there you can take the test as well if you have access to a computer. Camille Agun, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, Billy Sitsiba, much appreciated. And good luck thank to you. you.